The eagerly awaited age of futuristic transportation would be really interesting and thrilling as the new and advanced modes of transportation would completely supersede the current ones, radically transforming the transportation sector and triggering a paradigm shift. Who knows how people will be moving around in 20 years? Well, these examples might offer us a glimpse of what is to come. Gliding Taxis Ilan Tabo and Anders Bringdahl have designed a water taxi that seems to be gliding right above the water surface. Known as sea bubbles, these transportation vehicles are perfect for overly congested cities that also have a major river, or another body of water, passing through. Each individual sea bubble can hold up to five people, and can be accessed via special docks along the river. They are battery-powered, and have a 50 to 62 mile range at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. What's particularly interesting about these vehicles is their ability to glide over the water surface, thus reducing friction with the water, and improving both its speed and range in the process. They do this by making use of two wings submerged below the water surface. When in motion, the sea bubble lifts up from the water, with only its two wings making contact. The ride will be less bumpy as compared to ordinary boats, and there will be little to no waves generated. And because it is battery-powered, the bubble is completely silent. Flying taxis. Flying taxis may seem straight out of a science fiction novel or a fantasy of the human mind, but flying taxi project is as realistic as it gets. Big companies such as Uber, Boeing, and Airbus have started developing this technology. Silicon Valley startups are also showing enthusiasm about flying taxis. Uber plans to fly these taxis by 2023 and for this endeavor it has also partnered with NASA. As per the agreement between the two, Uber will share its plans for implementing an urban aviation rideshare network. NASA will use the latest in airspace management computer modeling and simulation to assess the impacts of small aircraft, from delivery drones to passenger aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing capability, in crowded environments. Hoverbikes. How long have we been waiting for hoverbikes? Probably ever since we first saw them being used in Star Wars, at least. Well, they are finally here and they work. Looking more like a commercial drone on steroids, the Hoversurf Scorpion 3 is the brainchild of a Russian drone startup. These hoverbikes are programmed to fly at altitudes of 16.4 feet for 25 minutes, and at maximum speeds of up to 44 miles per hour. They are capable of going much higher than that, setting a record of 93.5 feet, but for safety reasons they are limited to only 16.4 feet. It weighs only 229 pounds, which luckily is below the 250 pound threshold, the maximum weight allowed before you would need a registration or a pilot's license in most countries. Hyperloop Hyperloop, as the name suggests, is a sealed tube or system of tubes through which a pod may travel free of air resistance or friction conveying people or objects at high speed. Tesla and Hyperloop One are two of the biggest companies that are developing Hyperloop. Hyperloop would allow passengers to travel at a top speed of 600 miles per hour, which is more than twice the highest speed of the fastest train. Hyperloop projects are being developed in many parts of the world, including San Francisco and Baltimore. The Hyperloop must travel only in a straight line so passengers don't fall ill. Convertible Cab Cum Store Ride-sharing cars of the future would have the ability to metamorphose into different forms. This would also increase the basic level of their functionality along with versatility. Toyota has developed a concept vehicle known as e-Pallet that can be transformed from a normal cab to store selling any kind of merchandise or into a delivery van. What this practically means is that a cab in the morning could become a t-shirt store in the evening and food delivery van at night. Companies would also modify seats in vans and buses so as to make them more convertible in the upcoming future. User data determined personalized routes would also soon see the light of the day. Windowless planes. Conceptualized by Technicon Design, an international agency, this proposed idea was designed to make use of already existing technology, or one that will be available in the very near future. Instead of the standard plane windows, these private jets will have no windows whatsoever. 
Instead, they will make use of high-resolution, low-voltage screens located on the sides and ceiling of the plane. Cameras mounted on the outside will capture the surrounding views and will display them in real-time in the inside of the plane. These screens will be powered by solar panels mounted on the roof of the plane. Now, besides making the flight a more pleasurable experience, this technology will make these private jets sturdier and less cumbersome. By removing the windows altogether, the overall weight of the plane will drop significantly, thus making it much more fuel efficient. The float. The design makes the float look like a bubble floating just above the street. Each individual pod is able to seat one or two passengers, but several of these pods can clamp up together, like bubbles in a bubble bath, allowing for more people to travel together. The float also has bucket seats and sliding doors, making it easy for people of all ages to get in or out. And like several other entries on this list, the float will not necessarily be private property, owned by individuals, but rather, they could be better seen as taxis which one could call upon anywhere, by using an app. Self-Balancing Wheelchairs By making use of state-of-the-art technology, this wheelchair uses two large wheels to drive on flat terrain, while two sturdy rubber tracks allow it to climb and descend stairs with ease. Thanks to its wide base, the wheelchair is also able to go up and down spiral staircases. Its design is also compact enough so as to maneuver easily indoors and fit through standard doors. It can also rotate on the spot, drive on slippery terrain such as snow or loose gravel, and can raise itself so as to bring the user at eye level, as well as to reach overhead objects. Skytran Autonomous monorails, like Skytran, could dramatically improve your daily commute. Skytran cruises 20 feet above roads and can travel up to 155 miles per hour, helping transform a two-hour car commute into a 10-minute journey. To minimize maintenance and make switching on and off the tracks efficient at high speeds, early versions of the system proposed using the Inductrack Passive Magnetic Levitation System instead of wheels. Passive maglev requires no external power to levitate vehicles. Rather, the magnetic repulsion is produced by the movement of the vehicle over shorted wire coils in the track. The cars would be driven by a linear motor in the track or vehicle. Autonomous cars. An autonomous vehicle, or a driverless vehicle, is one that is able to operate itself and perform necessary functions without any human intervention, through ability to sense its surroundings. An autonomous vehicle is one that can drive itself from a starting point to a predetermined destination in autopilot using various in-vehicle technologies and sensors, including adaptive cruise control, active steering, steer-by-wire, anti-lock braking systems, brake-by-wire, GPS navigation technology, lasers and radar.